Hi, I'm Jeff Hutchings, and this is how to use the drum machine in BandLab. Tap on the plus icon. Then tap on the drum machine on the pop-up menu. Scroll down the list and tap on a drum kit or a drum pad set. The drum machine has eight drum pattern clips. Scroll through the drum pattern clips and tap on a lettered pattern icon to change the pattern clip. Pattern clips C, D, E, F, G and H are empty. and pattern clips A and B already have a drum pattern. Tap on the pattern clip A icon. Tap on the pattern play icon to hear the drum pattern. Tap on the pattern stop icon to stop the drum pattern. Now tap on the three dots icon and tap on clear on the pop-up menu to delete the drum pattern in the clip. Then tap on clear anyway on the pop-up message. The row header icon shows which sound is on each row. You can tap on the header icon then tap on a different icon on the pop-up menu to change the sound for that row. The drum pattern is one bar measure long and four beats long. Each beat is split into four steps. So each row has 16 steps that are 1 16th notes. Tap on a step to add a note. The first step in each group of four steps is the on beat step and is the quarter note. The third step of each group of four steps is the eighth note. The second and fourth steps of each group of four steps is the sixteenth notes and are used to add interest to the beat. Tap on a note to delete it. Drag your finger across a row to add continuous notes. To copy the pattern to another clip, tap on the three dots icon. Then tap on copy on the pop-up menu. Now tap on another pattern clip icon. Tap on the three dots again. And tap on paste on the pop-up menu. If there is already a pattern in the clip, tap on Paste Anyway on the pop-up message. You can change the drum kit by tapping on the drum kit name.
then tapping on another drum kit. Now tap on the X icon to delete a pattern clip from the drum machine track. Tap on the pattern. Then tap on the delete icon on the pop-up menu. To add a pattern clip, drag the position marker to the beginning of where you want the pattern clip to start. Then tap on the drum machine track. Tap on the pop-up drum machine icon. Then tap on Insert Pattern B. You will have more pattern options if you have added notes to more pattern clips. Press on the loop icon on the pattern and drag to the right to loop it along the track. Now drag the position marker to the end of the pattern. Tap on the blank area of the drum machine track. Tap on the pop-up drum machine icon. And tap on Insert Pattern A. Now, there are a few things I know I'm going to be asked, so... Number one. Currently, the undo icon does not work with the drum machine. Number two. Currently, the drum pattern is one bar measure long and cannot be changed. And number three. Currently, the drum pattern is four beats long and also cannot be changed. So even if you set the song signature to say 3 over 4, the drum machine pattern will still be 4 over 4. But hopefully, at some point, BandLab will fix some or all of these things. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.